Hello lovely people that are watching this video. Now I thought I'd talk a little bit on lynda.com, teamtreehouse.com and codeacademy.com and I should um, point out that the difference between these three is Linda and Treehouse are paid and Code Academy is free so I'll be talking a little bit on the differences between a provider, a platform that provides courses that are that they charge for and the platform that provides courses for free. Now, I'll start with lynda.com. I think lynda.com is great and actually one thing I'll mention is that I think the different platforms can be good for different people. So for me, I tried, uh, I had done a free trial on Team Treehouse and Linda. I did the, um, I think it was a 30 day trial for Treehouse and um, yeah, 10 day, uh, 10 day trial for Linda. And for me, it was clear straight away that I was going to use Linda because I've been a web developer for a good few years now. And I found that Treehouse really shows very basic things. It starts from the very basic of things, which at this point in my career, I don't need to see. So for me, I found lynda.com better because it's more advanced. Like it gets straight to the point with things. It doesn't like show me these basic things because I, I don't need to see them. I've already, I've got the experience to skip those things and just like, I want to learn the more in depth stuff. So for me, lynda.com was better so i think depending on where you're at in your career that should um that should be including your decision for what platform you choose to use so treehouse i think is great if you're just starting out because it does go through the basics from you know it doesn't assume that you know anything it starts from the very basics which is is great if you're just starting out to really you know really make sure it explains everything in detail um so yeah if, if you're just starting out in your career i think treehouse is probably the way to go and if you're experiencing your career you know you've you've been a developer for a number of years and you really just want to learn in-depth knowledge about certain subjects you want to you know maybe there's a new subject you want to learn about this week or this month so you can really just get into it you know deeply and um not worry about learning all, all the really basic things and now i'll talk a little bit about code academy i've used code academy um a bit i've not used it that much i'm going to be honest and for me i think provide the platforms that provide tutorials for free um it's great that people you know provide stuff for free but i just think that you're going to get more quality if you're using the paid platform because people the people that are making the courses that they're going to be getting paid you know i don't know how it works i've not made a course for linda but i assume they they get paid a percentage or something but when people are getting paid for something they're going to put more time and effort into it you know and obviously uh, code academy will earn money you know but it's a bit different whether you know they're earning money from advertising and other stuff when they're they're actually getting paid people paying to use the platform so you know if people use them and they have good experience with uh, with them free platforms like code academy then that's great but i personally think it's worth paying that fee um that monthly fee to use a paid platform that you know you're gonna get more quality tutorials and yeah so I and I think lynda.com is the best platform as I said definitely for experienced devs that want to learn new subjects quickly I think lynda.com is the way to go I think if you're a beginner as I said earlier team treehouse is the probably the the best way to go for you and if you want to maybe if you're like just um a free platform could be good if you're not sure if you want to actually do this and maybe just to you know do a couple of tutorials on a free platform have a you know get a little feeler for it and see you know do you enjoy it and is it something that you can see yourself pursuing and then 
if you do, then maybe move on to Treehouse and then, um, you know, use that platform. And then maybe once you've built some experience, maybe you can, you know, move on to a platform like Lynda.com if you wanted to, or you could stay on Team Treehouse. And um, that's just my opinion on it. I'll be interested to see other people's opinions if they agree with me. If you know, if you've got experience with both the platforms or all three, all three of the platforms, and what you think about them, I hope you found this video helpful. And thanks for watching. If you have found it helpful, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, and I'd appreciate it even more if you shared the video. Until next time, thank you. Goodbye.